Hello everyone and welcome back to All The Mods 9. In the last episode, we actually set up uh, some new power generation. Now we did it over there. <laughs> I was like, it's one of these directions. Oh, I'm stuck in zoom. Okay, well, well <laughs> I don't know what's happening. We're good, everything's fine. Um, my mic was peaking. Let me just make sure that that's all good uh, before we commit too hard to this episode. That's happened, uh, honestly, it's been a while since I've properly messed up. But let me just say, it's it's not something I want to do again. There's nothing worse than loading up the editing and just the audio is horrible. Um, so yeah, we set up this guy. Now, he looks pretty gnarly. He does thermo generators with soul lava beneath them. And it is generating 900% of its um, normal generation. And so that's getting us 31,000 forge energy per tick per block. And I believe we've got 12 of these. Now, it was mentioned in the comments... And I don't have them loaded up, but I, you know what? We'll test it first to see if it works. That I should be able to place them to the side. Um, we tried something. Oh, that's water. Um, because there's water in the machines, obviously. We tried something and it didn't work. And so I'm like, oh, it must have to go underneath. Maybe I'll try it on top, but we'll, we'll try on the side. So at the moment, this guy... Oh, well, I guess he still says 900%. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not really helping my, my claim to fame here. Hmm. Maybe we'll, maybe we add some more storage. What does this guy have? I'm not even sure. Uh, oh, let's chuck in a nitro. Nope. A nitro. Why am I? What am I doing? <laughs> Where is it? Hold on. Um, cell. Do we not have a nitro energy cell? Well, yeah, we'll, we'll make one. We'll manually order the stuff. That's fine. Um, it was also mentioned that you can make the blocks, but you can't. Yeah, I thought you could make the blocks. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm not completely insane. At least for these things, you can't make the blocks. Uh, some of the other stuff, you can. Um, but yeah, cool. Um, okay, so, have we got these yet? Maybe? Oh, what? I just, I ordered you. <laughs> Why is it? Okay. You know what, even this is just doing that. What's going on? <laughs> Let's, you know what, we've got some stuff to fix. Um, in terms of this episode, if we don't actually have power issues, um, as we did the past few episodes, well, we're not going to do power-related stuff. We'll we'll actually try to work towards uh, some more things. Now, I, I know I said that I was going to make the occultism stuff um, just to knock off the quest, which was this guy here. Um, but I'll be honest, like, we've got the piece. I I'm, I might just not. Or maybe we should do, like, Master of Drag. I, look, all of this stuff's, like, magic-related. Here's Nuvo. That's easy to do. Batania, we've kind of got that set up. And then just a, just a couple little bits of the drag. Like, we could do that. We could, we, could, we could get that quite easily. What I was going to say, though, is we could just do, like, um, some tech stuff. Since we do have quite a bit of tech stuff just already made. But this, oh my god, that involves antimatter. That's That becomes a lot of tech stuff. Um, we could set up a Patrick Star. That's easy peasy. That's barely an episode. Get the essence set up as well. In fact, do we even have... We might even be able to do just creative essence already, right? Creative essence... Needs blocks of insanium. Okay, I was like, how much do we have? <laughs> Hold on a second, we've got a crazy amount. Um, can I, apparently I can order this. I'm gonna order that. That's gonna take a while. It's not gonna take too long, but you know, it's, it's gonna take some time. That, that, that's okay. Um, so we'll get the insanium, what else was it? Was it insanium gemstones or something? <laughs> Hold on, let's go. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Better yet, I could probably just press U on this. The, look, there's a lot to do, okay? Um, what is it? Insanium gemstones. Okay, so that's gonna be uh, pretty easy as well, but but I guess just a little bit messier. Cool. Okay, nice. We've got our first piece. Wonderful. We can uh, consult this to see what's happening. There you go. It'll be there. Look at that. It'll be there in no time. <laughs> I promise, guys. It's it's pr practically done. Okay. Let's let's just calm down for a second. There's a lot of things going on. Let's just get the job done, okay? So first thing I want to do, and this is a personal thing, I would like to solve um, that power problem over there. Just real quick, I just want to get that energy cell done. And to do that, we're going to optimize our energy, uh, our energizing orb. Um, mainly, no, not just for what we're doing now, but because we're constantly waiting on this guy, even when we're doing like the other reactors and stuff. It, he's pretty slow. Um, so we'll try to solve what we can. So for example, can we do, what are we doing here? We're doing blazing crystals. Let's just solve that one. That's a that's a quick and easy one. We saw before that it can be fixed. So blazing crystals. I want to get you from a block of blazing crystal. Sure. 
And I want to get the block of blazing crystal from this. And I want to get the blaze mesh from that. Sure. We should have all of that stuff. Um, some of that stuff can go here. I'm just going to just like a craft it down. I'm sure that's not a problem. We'll chuck in the normal crafting recipes. So those ones there. And then we'll chuck in our brand new energizing orb recipe for the blaze meshes. Cool. So he should try to do that. As for the energized steel, that's another one where they're very quick to craft. So if we could do a block, that'd be awesome. And we can. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Let's um let's go ahead and take that out. That'll hopefully allow some other recipes to go in, maybe. I don't know. Um, we'll chuck this in here. You know what? Let me <laughs> the problem is when I load up my browser, it gets so laggy. Um because it uses like the tiniest bit of CPU I get. Or maybe it's probably the RAM. Who knows? I don't know. Um, all right, let's grab this recipe. There we go. And then let's grab this recipe. Awesome. That's, I mean, some of these won't be as efficient, I think, in terms of power usage and stuff and the resources. But like, yeah, we're, we're, we're sort of beyond that point, or at least we're trying to be. Um, all right, what are the other slow parts in here? Um, the rest of these are just blocks. So I think we're good. It's only the nitro crystal. And even that, it looks like we can't do a block. So not a problem. Um, or at least I don't think it's a problem. So what do we have? I'm going to cancel all of those. I'm going to try this again. We're going to go um, energy cell nitro. Uh, you know what? Well, uh, hold on. Look at that. Blaze mesh. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> we got to see it at least. Uh, let's add a recipe for the energy cell nitro. Instead of doing this um, thing where I am going back and forth. What's happening? Can we energy cell? <laughs> we're, str we're struggling, guys. We're struggling. But we'll, we'll get it happening. All right, cool. Energy cell nitro. Boom. Awesome. Cool. So now I can say I would like one. And hopefully we should get one. Cool. And then this guy, he has, what is that? Oh, I don't want to charge him yet. He has 2 billion storage potential. It looks like 2 billion. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. So we'll head back over here. It's supersonic speeds. And yeah, he's still full. So I'm going to chuck it in here. It's going to go from storing 14 million to storing 2 billion. <laughs> that will hopefully drain some of this. It still says it's generating 900%, but I don't think it's actually generating anything at the moment. Now, once this is full, we'll be able to see that, which is kind of silly because um, this is filling really, really fast, which is, I mean, it's awesome, but it's also like, whoa. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, be able to see. Oh, actually, you can see already stored zero out of 40 mil. These ones, they have the 31,500, so they are generating. Can you see that? It's showing that the amount per tick that it's making is in fact accurate. This goes zero. Cool. So the test was going to be if I able to place, um, maybe we'll just place a couple things here to stop it from flying away. But if we place the soul lava next to it, a full block, look at that. It still says zero out of 40. Now these guys have started charging because this is full, but as you can see here, it's not actually um, doing anything. The, the stored is zero. It's not making anything. Um, cool. So, to whoever it was that mentioned that in the comments, um, you might want to check on your system. It, it's possible that none of your machines are making are making power and it's just the illusion. Because if I chuck this here, making power. Cool. All right. Nice, nice. That's one thing off the... It's knocked off the list. We're good. Okay. Next up, what's happening? So, the Insanium. Hey, it's pretty much done. That's cool. Um, so... First things first, let's grab our four blocks total. Awesome. I'm going to order 10 more Insanium because we obviously need to do, where are we? Um, the gemstone blocks. Oh, they're going to need a lot. I, it sort of didn't, it didn't cross my mind how much we'd need for that. Let's, um, let's just add recipes, like crafting recipes so that we can just order it um, all in one go. That's going to be a lot better, I think. So we'll grab that. We'll grab the gemstones. All of that stuff automated already, which is cool. We can chuck them in here. Wonderful. Um, we do have a recipe creating already. I can cancel that. And I think that should be fine. Um, the only concern I would have as we zip over here is that whatever one I have it doing that in, if that was the sentence, um, might have some stuff left over, which is what I was worried about here. Why does it say cave creeper charm fragments and stuff? What a weird... Oh, we have some of those recipes here. Cool. I didn't realize. Uh, well, anyway, we've got the infusion crystal. The crafting happens here. He's empty. So I feel pretty good about that. We can search gemstone blocks. I can order four of them and that'll happen slowly but surely. This is sort of what was happening in case you were uh, 
I'm not too sure of the dealio um, as to why everything's taking so long. It's some speed mode fast. I don't think there's an ultra fast, so we're doing what we can. Um, yeah, it, it'll happen. It'll be done. It'll figure it out. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll, it'll work it out. Cool. So in terms of the quest, this, this guy, we can pin him. That will put him over on the right side. And he's almost done. Cool. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, what, what quest is that actually looking at? Is that this one here? It is. Um, I'm going to tick this just so that we can at least start that. And I'm going to get a prosperity seed based on in my inventory. Once again, just to sort of make sure the system knows like, hey, I'm, I'm working on it. We're getting there. So I've got that. We get a random reward. We get slime. Wonderful. Another reward. What was that for? Example quarries. Oh, I guess just having a quarry. Cool. Beacon. Nice. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. So obviously we, we did all of this stuff a little while ago. So sadly, we don't get these rewards handed to us in a silver platter unless we make another one. Either way, that's okay. Um, so the old Amodium Pyramid. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yeah, this guy's pinned. We'll get to him. Um, we were then looking at the Master of Dragons. That, that one I think will be, ah, oh, the Snow Queen, that's going to be a task, getting the Snow Queen trophy. <laughs> but the rest of it seems fine. This guy, the Nexium, um, so far I like all of this, but this guy, this gravitational modulating unit, that's going to cost antimatter, which means that's a long way away as well. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go down the list. Master of Elements. So this guy's going to use... A bunch of different magic blocks. Insaneites, a different type of reactor, some coal, rainbow furnace, rejuvenated flesh. Okay. We can get a lot of the stuff here. But then there, um, I think the tricky part is going to be the Tyrian steel. Possibly this thing. And possibly that thing. And then possibly that thing. <laughs> What's this guy? Um, Tyrian steel or Tyrian, who knows how it's pronounced. That's made out of dust, potentially. Nope, that's made out of an alloy or metal compounder. Okay, th this is 50-50 in terms of being doable. I reckon we could. Uh, what else do we have? Um, Diorium, sure. Um, you know what? Also easy. We can make that happen as well, I think. Um, Insaneite, this is a little bit sketchy in terms of... Yeah, I think there's like some reactor stuff happening here. There is a B, but once again, the B probably costs some of the stuff to make it, I'd imagine. Um... I, th I think, look, I think we could. Ridiculites. Okay. And that's ludicrite. Okay. And then that's plutonium. <laughs> okay. So yeah, there's, there's a few little steps to that one. Uh, then there's some flesh. Oh, that's, I mean, that looks pretty easy. I'm sure we could do that. I don't know what this is. Ah, we, yeah, good doable. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That one's, yeah, we can make that happen at some point. Um, this guy's antimatter, of course. Pulsating black hole, micromissiles, fire orb, dark rune, infinity nuke. Vial of... I, I think we could do this. I would need a pressure chamber. <laughs> sure. Um, I think we could, though. Ah, there's some PCBs in there I saw. Man, I... <sighs> okay. It's, I'll, I will be honest. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Just looking at the recipes here, just my first impression of like properly checking out what we've got. A lot of this, I think we can do. Heart of the Deep, we can do with a builder, obviously. Um, <sighs> Blood Magic Rune, don't like seeing that. <laughs> Abyssal Sacrifice and then Void Forge. Okay. So this is made, do I, okay. <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, okay. I'm just just doing some thinking on in the video. I'm sure you guys love this content. What way to kill the your retention at the start of an episode? This thing, um, yeah, it got some. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. All right. So what we're gonna do? Well, did I look at this? Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Yeah, I, I know what I'm doing. I know. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, let's do the master of Dra Oh, there's this guy as well. Hold on, Eternal Stella. Ooh, and then just a few little flowers. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Not, yeah. Not too, not too. Rose, this is the, ro the rose doesn't have a recipe, so that's going to be it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. We're going to do the Master of Dragons because I think this one is doable. Okay. We're going to pin this. 
and we're going to start this one. So you might want to fight the Ender Dragon a few more times. You'll need a few dragon eggs and several other items like dragon scales to make the star. Pro tip, try using hostile neural networks to make either dragon eggs or dragon's breath so you don't have to keep coming back to fight it. Now, in the last episode, you may have seen our data model for the dragon was broken. It appears to be fixed. That, that was a bug. That wasn't, I guess, intentional. So we can actually, I guess, just put this back. Why not? Why not? So we have this guy down here. We'll chuck it back in. That should mean the predictions are fixed as well. Yep, and the dragon predictions. Cool. So if we wanted to, we could chuck them in here and make something. Now, I'm not going to make anything at the moment, but that's automated dragon's breath. What you just saw there. Cool. Um, so what do we actually need for this quest here? We need dragon tooth and dragon scale. Um, now, dragon scale, I think we've got. Dragon tooth, I mean, I'm guessing it just drops, right? Uh, but if we search dragon, we can grab out a dragon scale. I think it's this one here. So it's that quest done. And the dragon tooth, I don't know. So I, I think we're just going to have to jump back in there and fight it. That's going to be obviously some end crystals. Beautiful. Grab some of those. Now, yeah. Dragon scale. I didn't even get to bookmark the thing. Uh, let's search it. Dragon tooth. Dragon tooth knife. So that's made out of the dragon's tooth. Cool. End delight. Let's um let's look at the mod. End delight. Mainly because um like in case there's a specific thing we need to get the thing. There's lots of foods. Delight falls down there. There's a stove you can get. See, because there are some knives. And it's just it yeah, it feel green. Okay. Dragon leg. Oh, yeah, okay, that sounds fun. Okay. Alright. I reckon, I reckon we just go for it and we see what happens. Unless, no, there's a Farmer's Delight books. I reckon, we, I reckon we just kill one. Worst case, we have to kill another one with a special item. I'm, I'm sure. That, that's okay. I can, I can live with that. All right, so, end exit portal. That should be within the end, I believe. That's, that, that, that would be my best guess, at least. Um, I don't know the last time I was in the dimension, so it's taking a little while. Cool. Now... Uh, previously I couldn't find the portal and, and we discovered like the coordinates. You can actually just go to the coordinates and build a new portal, um, by just placing the end crystals. It'll just summon it and do everything normal. But, um, we've obviously done that before. So we can go ahead and set up this and it will shoot up and it's going to go ahead and make us another dragon. Cool. So I'll tell you what I will, um, I'll just wait for that. I'll, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll be back. Alrighty. Oh, up, up, oh, up. Oh, oh. I hear him. I don't see him. Oh, you know what? We should probably increase um, the range on that so we can actually see him. There we go. Alright. Um, well, I'm just going to get up here and I'll be back. I, I imagine this is going to be pretty easy. Oh, ah, except for my armor that pushes them away. It, uh, and also their health is crazy. Okay. I'll, I'll figure it out, guys. I'll, I'll let you know how it goes. All right, I took some armor off, but um, as long as we fly away when we're low, I should at least be able to do some damage now. All right, killed it. <laughs> we're good. Let's, um, I've got my magnet on. It obviously died around here, thankfully. So we've got some of the stuff. It's very loud, as you can tell. Um, there's the portal. We don't have a tooth, which is um, not the greatest thing to, to see. Um, I'm guessing I was meant to pry the tooth out of him <laughs> or something. I, I don't know. We're, we're, we're going to have to look this up. Uh, I, I'm guessing through a mod or something. Maybe there's a book for it. Uh, whereabouts is the teleporter? It's on one of these sides. I think is wasn't there. Did he break it? Oh, that, yeah, I, I did notice we had one, but okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, exits. Cool. 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 Okay, so first things first, uh, we got some essences, we got some dragon skin, um, dragon scales from two different mods, um, as well as a miniature green heart. Cool, we even got some, I don't know, some nice stuff, breaks in a nice area. Maybe we can use this bow next time, <laughs> sure. Uh, but no tooth, no tooth at all. So at end, uh, we have ends delight right from the top. So here it is, there's fruit cake, there's a stove, and then we have the different knives and they cost some shell knives and stuff. Is there a book does it look like from this mod? 
So all this stuff is from the same thing. I'll be honest, I can't tell. I can't tell. Now, if I right click on these things, do they appear as though they're gonna do something interesting? I wonder if you cut it. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. Now, it didn't show the recipe, but do you reckon this on a cutting knife with like, with a dragon egg shell? You know what I mean? Like, non hatchable dragon egg with a nether star. What? Slice it, create slice and dice or a cutting board. Okay. Non hatchable dragon egg needs a dragon tooth. Okay, so that's not how you do it. Cool. Good to know though. <laughs> um, let's see the cutting board. There's going to be a lot of pages, isn't there? Okay. But I was going to say, maybe you use one of these knives. I don't know which one now, obviously, because that one's not, not it. The tooth knife is not it. But with a, with a dragon head, do you think? I reckon that sounds plausible. Um, let's give it a shot. So cutting board, that guy's pretty simple. Just some wood and some sticks. Nice and easy. Let's search knife. We don't have one. Um, now we want one from... I don't actually know, what's this for Farmer's Delight? Okay. So, I don't actually know. Um, at Farmer, and then Knife, here we go. Um, flint all the way up to Netherite, which is gonna be a diamond one upgraded. Ah, we'll just do a diamond, ah. We'll see. So cutting board, dragon head. This doesn't seem cuttable. Ah, that's exactly what someone trying to hide an Easter egg would say. Um, oh, so let's grab this, this, and a netherite. Cool. Let's go ahead and upgrade this in here. Boom, boom, boom. Netherite knife and... Doesn't seem cuttable. <laughs> what does it say in here? Dragon, dragon can scale. Hostile neural networks. Fight the dragon a few more times. How many times? How do I get this dragon to? <laughs> um, okay, is there a farmer's delight... Section? <laughs> I'm getting desperate. Um, mm, food and farming. Okay. I mean, there's obviously the cutting board down here. Okay. Yeah, very interesting. Nothing in here. Ah, efficiency and silk touch. That, I mean, that's cool. Backstabbing, looting. Mm, okay. I'm, I'm just going to look it up. I, I, I've tried to do it using the mods to the best of my ability, but... Yeah, we'll just, we'll just look it up. Um, so what are we after? Ends Delight Dragon Tooth. Ah, okay. So, we have an answer from um, Deleflect. Deleflect? Yeah, Deleflect over on Reddit. And they say that you kill a dragon with a purple knife. So, oh. Here it is, a purple knife. Two purple gives you a purple knife. And so with this, we can kill the dragon. A bladesmith of the end. Get any kind of knife. This guy does not do much damage. That's okay. Maybe we can enchant it. Bane of Athropods and Sharpness 6. I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> I guess. Let's, let's, well, oh, it has other stuff too. Sharpness. Nature's Men. Okay, backstabbing. That's pretty cool. Some fire aspect. Um, does extra damage against silverfish. The, the dragon's like a giant silverfish. All right, and it can't chop this up? No, okay, cool. Uh, let's give it a shot then. Let's grab our end crystals again. And let's go back in and uh, and have a little look-see. See if this is in fact how you go about doing it. Um, I imagine it would be. I don't I don't really... I mean, it makes sense. It's from the right mod. Uh, but killing the dragon with it. I think, I think it's going to have to be like a timing the last hit of the dragon with it situation. Um, we brought a bow this time, but not arrows. Hmm... You know what? I might just, while that's happening, I'm sure that'll happen while I'm not here. <laughs> I'm sure that's okay. Let's jump in here. I, I do, by the way, have a dimensional card, um, but I don't have the power capacity to do it. So just just a heads up. Um, why am I here? Arrows. Now, we have a netherite crimson arrow. And if I do at silence, we should have a sturdy repair kit to repair this. Cool. And then we should also have a bow. Yeah. So I'll, I'll grab this. I'm sure this bow is better than this bow. Maybe. Um, cool. Um, yeah, purple and knife. Go back in here. Cool. He's on his way. He's getting there. All right. There we go. 
We've got a dragon. Cool. I'm going to first fly up with my knife and see what this does. Okay, so if it... <laughs> if I was actually expected to... Yeah, that, I mean, that would take a while. Maybe the backstabbing would do something, but... We're probably just going to shoot this guy. We've got a pretty... I mean... You know what? We'll probably have to actually take care of these things first, unfortunately. But, you know, not the end of the world. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be back uh, just in time to do the killing blow, I guess. Alright, it's pretty low at this point. I'm going to I'm gonna see what I can do. Okay, so the boots and the chest piece come off. And we're just going to head down here and try to chip away. Yeah, he's only got 8 health. Oh, easy. Quite p pathetically easy, honestly. It's like, who is this guy? Um, so here we go. We've defeated him. We have two teeth. We also got some dragon legs, it looks like. We've got a few more things on us. We do have a backpack, so we can put some stuff away. Put that away. Dragon skin. Some of that stuff. Cool. Yeah, and what? A dragon meat? I mean, that's pretty nice. We'll head back over here. Might be some more loot or something, maybe. Or not. That's okay. Uh, let's jump through the portal. Mainly because, I don't know, maybe the other side of it has some loot that dropped. Nope. <laughs> or at least not for us. Cool. So, we now have Dragon's Tooth. And we got two of them. So, you know, we can use one for whatever we were planning to use it for. Um, and I'm sure the others, or the other one can be used uh, later. <laughs> sure. Um, cool. So, ATM Star. We now have the pieces of the Ender Dragon. And we get Gem of the Combatants. Very cool. That will go away and never be seen again. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, all right, sweet. So, what's next? Well, oh, for starters, um, the creative uh, essence can probably be crafted. Yeah, we just need to grab the Master Infusion Crystal, which I happen to know a guy that knows a guy that has one. It's me. I know me and I happen to have one. Over uh, here. There we go. Borrow you. Uh, you shouldn't craft any. Yeah, that's fine. All right, and voila, creative essence. Cool. Another part of the ATM star complete. There we go. So that part is done. We can go ahead and claim. Uh, you know, what? I'll leave the pedestal for now. What do we get from that? Nether stars? I'll leave the pedestal just for now because we may do it in a different area. You know what I mean? Like we, we might set up like an ATM star area or something, I guess. Um, and we'll do that then. So that's done. That's pretty cool. Uh, next is obviously this guy, the Master of Dragons, Dragon Soul. So, let's go ahead and add recipes for that and see see what bits are missing. Uh, as for whether I think we'll make one this episode, probably not, but we're, we're going to give it a try. You never know what will happen. So, uh, let's search Dragon Breath. Nope, Dragon Soul. That's right. And we'll make this first initial recipe. Because um, some of this stuff we'll just, we'll just have. Right, because we've got Dragon Souls, we've got all that sort of stuff. So if we go in here, um, well, I guess if we go here and paste. Oh, there's two different ones. Oh. You can either do two Snow Queen trophies or a Poisonous Arc from Blue Skies and a Nature Arc. Interesting. Okay. And in the meantime, we have uh, an inactive Dragon Egg and a Dragon Scale. <laughs> so that's cool. The other stuff may be tricky. Empty soul gem. We're going to have to jump into occultism. A non-hatchable dragon egg. This is going to require four end crystals, which we can do. And boom. Non-hatchable dragon egg. I'll collect that. Nice. Um, a focus of summoning and a Gaia spirit from Batania. Both of which are quite doable, except for us not having these things. That's actually, that's quite annoying, to be honest. Wilden Wing, Wilden Horn, Wilden Tributes. Hmm. Not, honestly, very not fun that we have to get that stuff. Wilden Tribute, obtained by defeating the Wilden Chimera. See, Ritual is Summon Wilden. <sighs> We've done that in the past to get the stuff. I thought we solved the problem then, but I'm guessing we didn't. We don't have a mob swab of any of that stuff. Cave Enderman, uh, Wraith DNA. Okay. Um, well, that doesn't help, does it? <laughs> Wilden. Yeah, we've just got the spikes. Wilden wing. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then there's obviously, uh, what's the other one? The actual, sp the, the Gaia spirit. Whew. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's do the Es Nouveau one. 
we've got some stuff to, to make that happen. Now, to do that, I think I'll need the worn notebook to, to check everything on and how we do it. Um, specifically the rituals. So we want Summon Wilden. The tablet of Summon Wilden is as follows there. So if I search Wilden, we can get the, ta uh, the where is it? The tablet of Summon Wilden. So both of which need a block of lapis. We'll grab a few of those, why not? Uh, what's the difference here? Both are the same, I guess just one uses the ingredients of a Wilden, the other one allows you to do it without ever encountering one. So that's pretty cool. Um, we'll obviously use the Wilden Spikes. Cool. I'm gonna grab mob swabs, just some empty ones, because I have a hunch that we are going to want to farm these guys. Um, now the ritual, uh, I mean, I assume I just slap it down on a on a ritual guy, right? Yeah, shall we? Okay. Ritual summon a random variety of monsters for a short duration. Um, okay. When augmented with a Wilden Spike, Wilden Horn, and a Wilden Wing, this ritual will summon uh, the Wilden Chimera, or Chimera, a challenging and destructive monster. Okay, the ritual will destroy blocks around the, the flame. So, this first one we'll use, and that'll be fine. We'll get some mob swabs. We'll farm some mobs. Then we'll set one up uh, elsewhere. Okay, can I... Wilden Hunter? Okay, we've got the Wilden Hunter, I guess, which is... Okay. We also have the Wilden Stalker. Cool. Um, okay. Wilden Stalker. Yep, we've got you. Who else is it? This guy over here. So he is the Wilden Guardian. Cool. All right, we've got one of each. We'll just uh, try to clean up here in the few frames that we have left. Cool. Uh, take care of you. Uh, we do have you as well. You look different compared to what I have. Can we mob swap? What are you? You're a wooden stalker as well. Oh, okay, you just look different when you're flying around. Cool. Also, we have... I'm pretty sure we have decent looting. So th there's a chance we just get everything we need right now. But, um, but, but at least we'll be able to farm them in the future. That's obviously the main point there. Um, cool. All right, they're taken care of in terms of in the base. Doesn't look like there's any... Hidden around. I think we got them all. Maybe. I mean, it's not the end of the world, even if we didn't. Okay. Sweet. So, we have uh, three mob swaps. Um, from that, we got... Um, wilden Wings, Wilden Spikes, and Wilden Horns. Beautiful. So, we can already just go and start that ritual um, that we were talking about before. Uh, to pull that one off, I do kind of want a source jar but I don't quite know the best approach to getting a source jar. Now I know I've got two here, <laughs> but which one do I want? That is the question. Um, I think I'll take this one. So I'll grab him. I, I'm pretty sure you need source. Maybe you don't. We're gonna search ritual. Um, hold on. This guy's not even functional, right? Yeah, he's not doing anything. Let's instead grab uh, pedestals, if we can, from Ayers Nouveau, Arcane Platform. That's pretty cool. So Arcane Pedestal, one, two, three. Beautiful. I'm guessing that this is how we do this. Now, oh, hold on. I, I almost forgot that it said it's destructive. So we're going to go ahead and, I don't know, come across the uh, the river here. Boom. Okay. Nice. No sounds for the grass. That's still working. That's good. <laughs> um, we can probably put our arm back on, especially for the, the fight ahead of us. Um, the flame, the source, the pedestals. The one of each, boom, boom, and boom. I'm once again guessing this is how you do it. Wilden summon tablets, boom, put those away. Boom, and boom. What do you reckon, guys? <laughs> is that gonna do it? I mean, I guess worst case, we get enough loot to make another one anyway. I've got 17 wings on me, and we've barely even begun. Oh, well, I said that got it my way. Maybe I'll take those off so we can actually kill them. I will say as well, um, yeah, the, they've updated the mobs. They usually just looked like um players before. That's why I was a little bit confused as to what we're looking at. I like them. I like the the new uh the new looks. They're pretty cool. Got this guy over here, he sort of flew away a little bit. Um, all right, so that didn't do what we wanted to. That clearly didn't infuse uh the thing. 
Uh, so let's try this again. Let's craft one of these. Um, you know what? Let's craft it with one of each. Maybe that's somehow it. I don't know. Um, so what are you saying? Without augments. Cool. When augmented with a wilden spike, wilden horn, and wilden wing. So I need to augment it. Cool. Now, instinctively, I'm just going to try it in the crafting table. <laughs> and then we'll, you know, we'll consult the books and stuff, but yeah, it doesn't do anything. Okay, fair enough. Um, in terms of quests, if we go ahead and um, look here, we have the Tablet of Summon Wilden. We've got two of these offered here. One's a Fire Essence Reward. One's talking about the Tribute. Use the Ritual Tablet on the Flame. Then right-click with one of each of the drops, then activate. Okay, so what we do, allegedly, is we grab one of each. We place this here. Then we put in a wing, a horn, and a spike. We then activate, and this should summon the boss. I'm going to I'm gonna put the stuff on. It shouldn't teleport too far away. Famous last words. Uh, but this should spawn. Oh, he's big. 100 health. He's spawning a bunch of wolves. I think I'm kind of cheesing him just by being above. There's also obviously some music. Um, yep. I know. I'm sorry, buddy. This is, um, I'm a little bit concerned about the music. All of our music is off. Ah, there we go. <laughs> sorry if you're jamming out to that. I'd... Is, is that helping? Oh, like, he's, so, he's so fluffy though. I don't want to kill him. Look at him. <laughs> Look at how happy he is. He's like, yay. Oh, he's charging up. He's at half health. He is he's charging. He's now got spikes. And he and he shoots them out. So he's I guess a little bit more dangerous. Is that because I'm flying? Or is that just what he does? Okay, he's He's pretty good at his old spike thing. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, we're, we're good now. We're good now. Alright, is it 250 now? Quarter of his health. He's doing another ability. We're about to find out what that is. Um, okay. Well done. I mean, obviously, if I was on the ground, this would be <laughs> a lot worse. Um, but we are quite successfully cheesing it. Oh, and he's got the evil bat ears. Um, although I haven't really seen what he gets from the bat ears. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't really seen a good reward that he's gotten. Alrighty, he is nearing the end. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. <laughs> He's going to be on one of the horizons, bounding over playfully. Alright. There we go. Cool. Alright. Well, that's him done. Um, so from that, the main reward we got is the Wilden Tribute. So we will happily take that. I'll put the swabs away. We can use those, obviously, some point later. Um, and then, so that's this done. We get a reward. Slime balls. That's this done. We get some Flux Dust. And then just the focus of summoning is all that's left. Um, and we have all the stuff for it. So, I might be able to do that on, um, I don't know, something over here, I guess. Um, what do we have? Uh, enchanting apparatus. So we'll grab that. Obviously, we're going to need some more pedestals. I don't know if we have enough stuff for how many, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So I just need two more of these and we don't have a source stone. Brilliant. That's what I love to see. I will try again. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Uh, okay, cool. So I will replace this. It didn't use any source. It looks like cool. Um, I'll replace that with an enchanting apparatus. I think that needs a core underneath it, just from memory. Um, arcane core. We'll give that a shot. Source stone, of course. Why would we have enough of that? Boom, 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 and then boom. Eh? No recipe found. Pedestal must be within three blocks. Yep, that's cool. Okay. So, then we go boom, 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 and boom. I have a feeling that this goes on there as well. Do we want to double check that? Yeah. Cool. In fact, this goes in the middle. So, that goes there, and then this goes here, and I think that is it. We're getting what we want. Oh, I should have screenshotted the little puppy. Unlucky. Uh, regardless, that's... I think we're about to do it. Beautiful visuals from Airs Nouveau as per usual. And focus of summoning. Thank you very much. Cool. We get a dragon head. Nice. Love to see it. Um, nice. 
Yeah. So, I mean, we're getting there. Next up would be either Britannia, the Soul Gem, apparently the miniature forest at once. I, I don't think it needs to. I think it's just saying, you know, you've got to head in there at some point and get... Oh, yeah, the Snow Queen trophy. Yep. Um, Sweet. Okay. <sighs> How long have we got? 47? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. The, the, yeah, Twilight Forest, that'll happen in another episode, probably. As will Batania, that's a lot of work. The Soul Gem... <sighs> you know what, we can get started with, with um, Occultism. I do have some ideas. Like, perhaps we just set up um, just a few little things from uh, Occultism. We just automate it real quick, if we can somehow live at our base. Um... Yeah, let, let's, let's do that. <laughs> let's totally do that. That's totally oh, so easy. Um, all right, we've got some network over here. This is a horrible spot for it, but it's where we're going to put it. So, occultism. Let's search empty soul gem. So we want this occultism empty soul gem. The rest of the stuff I'll just get rid of. We'll look them up next episode. Um, and for this guy, the main ingredients we need, obviously, is a book of binding. Um, and then the ritual itself. We're going to need sacrificial bowls, a golden one, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, what does that mean for us? Well, for starters, we need to make um, the ritual. Um, now, as you can see, I clicked that and it doesn't really help me at all. Um, so for that, we need a book, I think, at occultism. Um, either a book or there might be something different. Taboo book, do you reckon that's what it is? I think it might be. Taboo book, yeah, okay. Um, so what do we have? Uh, Demon's Dream Seeds. We'll need at least one of these. Um, let's grab some bone meal. I don't even know if bone meal is going to work. Probably want more bone meal than that, I'll be honest. Um, botany Pot. I mean, let's be honest. That's probably what's going to do it. And then I'm guessing dirt, but we may need special dirt. So boom, 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 boom. Are you growing? Looks to be. Um, let's go ahead and see if that works. Cool, it does. Um, so what that's getting us is Demon's Dream Fruit. Now, from memory, that fruit will be dropped into a flame or it'll be lit on fire. One of the two will take place. Um, can be used to heal all spirits and familiars summoned by occultism rituals. Simply right-click the entity to heal it by one heart. That's cool. That's nice. Um, is there, there's an occultism section, surely, right? There is, beautiful. So we're here. Um, Dictionary of Spirits. That's that looks like more 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 so what we want. Um, so let's search that. Cool. Craft one of those. So these demon seeds, I think you just get them from grass. Pretty sure. Um, awesome. We have the about section. We have all the different spots. It burns. These are all tutorials. These are these are helping me. <laughs> these things I'm powering through, they help. They're, I'm learning, so I'm I'm progressing. I'm learning. <laughs> Look at me go. <laughs> All right. I was just, yeah, I thought it was, I thought I'd run out of stuff. Um, okay. The main takeaway here is spirit fire. Um, throw demons dream fruit on the ground and light it with flint and steel. So that's, that's the main thing there. Um, da, 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 so that's pretty cool. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do that over here. I'm going to break this. I'm going to scroll this not to flesh, sorry. We're going to essentially do uh, netherrack. Or at least we're going to try to. Um, I think we've got some in here at some point. Yep, netherrack. So we're going to turn off our magnet, drop our demon fruit. We don't have flint and steel. Okay, we're going to flint up some steel. Cool. And we're going to light that on fire. Cool. Spirit fire. Nice. Now, obviously, rain will stop this. Um, I didn't really think about that. Can I get like a leaf? This is a, this is a horrible idea as well. Let's just put a leaf above it. Yeah, that won't catch fire. <laughs> All right, cool. But we have this guy, Spirit Fire. So the way that this works, I believe, is that you grab stone, you drop stone in, and it will spit out um, the stuff that you do want. So as you can see, there's stone there. <laughs> I think this is how it works. So I'm now sort of questioning that. Maybe I should, if only I had a book, right? Um, cool. So, boom, 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 boom. Other stone, another stone saplings. Okay. Andesite. Gotcha. That, that, that does ring a bell. 
<laughs> Alright, so for example, if I were to craft a stack of andesite, um, I can chuck that in there and it will instantly spit out other stone. Cool. I think logs are the same. I guess we're about to find out. They're not. Um, <laughs> but I had to for a second there, right? Um, other stone, oak sapling makes a other world sapling. And then other world wood makes other world ashes. Cool. And then we can chuck diamonds in too. So first things first, let's chuck in a sapling. Boom. Boom. We now have an other world sapling. Cool. Let's also chuck in a stack of diamonds. Sure. Sounds like a great use of my resources. Um, sweet. I mean, we're doing a lot of quests here. I don't really know how far we're getting. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but they are not the same. When grown, these will look exactly like regular oak tree. However, under the effects of the third eye, you'll be able to harvest the other world variant. So we need the other eye. Um, now, hmm, candles. Interesting. Um, I read something. Yeah, other world goggles. Cool. So they'd be pretty cool to have. Um, I'm sort of speeding through this mod. I do apologize in terms of we're not really learning, I guess. Um... It's a magic mod. I've grown a fruit, I've set it on fire, and now I'm converting resources into alternatives. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, now, there's some rituals to get these special lenses. I'm guessing in the meantime, there's something else I'm probably meant to be doing. Um, now, I think eating the fruit. Yeah, look at that. Third eye, two for 15 seconds with a 70% chance. So... What that means, has this guy still been running? Awesome. Is I can place this sapling, which says it's an oak sapling, but it's from occultism. It looks normal, doesn't it? But it's, it's still occultism. We can grab some bone meal. Let's go ahead and order like, I don't know, 10,000. <laughs> that should keep us going for a bit. We can grow this tree. It's an occultism tree. It still says it looks entirely like an oak tree. But if I go ahead and eat one of these, there's a chance that we get... Um, Third eye, yep, which we have. And then I'm just going to harvest all of this. And what that's done is we've got an other world logs and even some more saplings here. So I'm gonna see if we can quickly harvest more of these while we're here. Did I get it? Nice, cool. So we can bring these other world um, resources back into, I guess, our dimension, which is pretty cool. Um, sweet, so that was that, awesome. <laughs> so we got even more stuff. Um, very nice, I guess, I guess we can claim this just to, I don't know. Make us feel a little bit better. Uh, some tertium. Tertium. All right, cool. So now rituals and stuff. <sighs> Here we go. Now we're, we're aiming for this, obviously. It's also needed for the ATM star. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to do a ritual. So our first ritual. Um, now we might even skip that first ritual <laughs> if we can, if it lets us. Um, so sacrificial bowl. And we'll also need a genie book thingy. <laughs> sure. What's that going to cost us? Okay, let's, let's bookmark this. Book of book of Genie. Book of G Genie. Um, so, we're going to need an Awakened Feather. We're going to need Purified Ink, Green Dye, and a Taboo Book. So, the Taboo Book is the book in the Soul Fire. So, that we can do. Um, the Purified Ink is going to be Black Dye in that thing as well. So, we've got some Black Dye, which we can use. Cool. Um, we don't have a lot of Black Dye, but I think we've got a lot of Ink, right? Pretty sure... Yeah, like that's, that's not a problem. I just wanted to make sure before we used it all. And then the feather is going to be a... Any feather. Okay, I was like, a special feather? No, any feather will do. Uh, luckily, we have some feathers. Cool. Um, so I'm going to just process one book. I'm going to process a stack of feathers and a stack of black dye. Cool. Um, so that gets us all of that, which is awesome. Um, now let's have a look. So the book of Ginny will require some green dye, which we can do. And then we have the Book of Genie. Now this guy, accompanied with the Dictionary of Spirits, binds it. So this sort of makes it, I guess, no longer craftable. I don't know. But it makes it so that we can use it in rituals, which is pretty cool. Um, sure. <laughs> so we've got the book. That's the first tricky part. Next is the actual sacrificial bowls. So these guys cost other stone. Luckily, that's the easy stuff to make. Um, for this ritual, we will need one, two, three, four, eight of those. So we'll see if we've got enough to make eight. We do, awesome. And we will need a sacrificial bowl, so I guess we'll grab a bonus one and turn that into a sacrificial bowl. So now we've got all of the 
blocks, I guess you'd say, to make this thing. I guess we've got the book, we've got the sacrificial bowls. There is something that's not shown on this screen, though, that we will need, and that's the ritual itself. <laughs> so, the ritual that we want is um, Stridge's Higher Binding. So, if we go ahead and consult the Dictionary of Spirits, we are after the ritual. Um, is it a binding one? I'm not sure. We've got a lot here. Binding rituals. Um, I guess, yeah, we're after this. Soul gem. Hmm. Is it going to tell me? Oh, we can click here though. There we go. So where actually is this? Oh, pentacle. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. So we can look through here and we're after this one. Stridge's higher binding. Um, cool. So how we can do this is I can click on this little show multi-block preview and it will provide me an area at which we can place this guy. So we're just going to place a casual ritual down somewhere. Um, get rid of some of this stuff. Um, how does this look? This is a nice area. <laughs> sure. So there we go. So we can go back into the real world. And so it shows us sort of what we need. So as you can see, the sacrificial bowl goes here. Now within the ritual, you can place down your extra ones. So don't place them on any of the interesting blocks, like the special colors or obviously those blocks. But we can place them in these gaps just fine. That should be good. And then we need to figure out the rest of it. So as you can see, there's a candle on every corner. I'm guessing that's what we require. Now we've got candles from Minecraft. I think we need occultism candles. Yeah, these guys, white candles. So they need tallow, which is going to be rotten flesh smelted. Luckily, we have a little smelt bag here. So that works. Let's search candle again. Occultism. Oh, there should have been tallow, right? Am I... I guess I'm wrong. Okay, let's, let's double check this one. Um, candle. There's two tallows. Okay. The tallow from Edelon is from Blasting. The tallow from Occultism is with the Butcher Knife. Okay, so yeah, we, we can do either or. Now, obviously we have a bulk blaster available. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, I will add <laughs> Rodden Flesh to the blacklist and then do that. I will also say, yeah, there was a little bit too much nighttime there for my liking. Um, this episode is nearing wrapping point. That's okay. Um, so the candles will be done. The other stuff here could be tricky. So these are spirit attuned crystals. You can see them written at the top here. Spirit attuned crystal. Here we go. Oh, so they're just the um, diamonds that we converted. Cool. So we can grab four of these. Nice. We can place these down. These also are uh, plus a turner. That's pretty cool. They can be used for your, uh, I don't know, enchanting. Um, then we have, once we have the candles, we do actually have to do something about these. Now, the white one is white chalk. Yellow chalk, and I'm guessing purple chalk. So we can search chalk, and they're all here. Um, now there's impure chalks, and then there's pure chalks. The impure chalks are what we're going to make first. So impure white chalk is going to be burnt to other stone and other world ashes. Now for other stone, I believe how this works is you smelt it. So that's, yeah, burnt other stone. And the other world ashes are from dropping in other world wood in here. So we'll keep two. Drop in that to get six. Awesome. Let's go ahead and make our first chalk. So boom and boom. That is impure white chalk. I believe you chuck it in here and now it's white chalk. So this, we can right click on all of these spots that are um, clearly white chalk and it will do a random pattern and that way it looks pretty cool when it's uh, finished. As you can see, they're, all, they're not all just the same symbol. It sort of spices it up a little bit. Um, so then we just need, it looks like yellow and purple. So we'll go back to chalk, see what they entice. So they actually do need white chalk to make them. Um, and it's golden chalk, sorry, not white chalk or not yellow chalk. So we can make a second one. We will need more uh, logs though, if we want to uh, finish this off. So we'll probably try to do that. We don't need too many. I think even just one will do, but I'll tell you what. Let's see if we can go ahead and grow all of these, shall we? Let's do that. Do that. Perfect. <laughs> I'm guessing I'll just be able to, uh, you know, ulti mine this whole tree down. That's sort of the plan here. Instead of, you know, panicking when we when we do it. All right, boom. So we'll eat this. It says there's a 70% chance. That's sort of, oh, your whole vision changes though. So there we go. Now we're in it. And voila. Cool. So we just got 48 Otherworld Woods. We can turn on our magnet as well. Uh, turn it back off, I guess. Cool little uh, TV effect and like motion blur, even with the shaders. 
I like it. Um, all right, let's just drop in that much. Why not? Who's going to stop us? Um, and then we'll chuck this in here. One, two. Okay, cool. So we'll go back to chalk. Now you got to keep these ones impure. We actually made one extra. That's fine. One of these will become gold quite easily with gold dust and glowstone dust. The purple one, we need crushed endstone. Now that is a little trickier. We're going to need a different ritual to actually get our hands on that. That is <laughs> honestly a little bit unfortunate, but I guess it's okay. Let's go ahead and at least get the gold part done then while we're here. Gold, 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 gold. Um, yeah, how unlucky. All right, well, <laughs> I mean, we can probably do it this episode. We'll, we'll give it a try. In the meantime, candles. Let's give that a shot. Is this stuff done? It allegedly is. So it's trying to make this candle. I'm going to switch it to the occultism candle and grab four of those. Now, to be fair, there are a few different candles that's showing off. You might even be able to use vanilla, but we made the occultism one, so we'll, we'll know for sure at least that we've got the right ones. Gives the mod a little bit of time to shine. Um, so yeah, we just need the purple um, chalk. So to pull that one off, we need a Marid um, spirit. Hmm. Okay. Delays much slower than lower tier crushes. Okay, so I will say, I think we can do a cheaper crusher than this. Yeah, this guy here. Okay. <laughs> Let's bookmark that one. Get rid of this one. Um, so we need iron, silver, gold, copper, a completely different book for the ritual. We're going to need different chalk as well. Um, we're going to need this book, which we can do. We just need a taboo book, which is obviously just a book in the fire. All right. <laughs> we'll get it done quickly. It's clear over here. Um, bunch of taboo books. Awesome. Book of binding. Foliates. We're going to go ahead and bind that. Awesome. So we've got the book for this one, <laughs> sure. Uh, and then we just need to do the ritual. So what's that gonna be? Avia Circle is I believe the ritual for this one. So we'll go ahead and grab this book out. Let's remove this multi-block. There we go. Let's close it. Um, Avia Circle. We'll go ahead and place this guy down. Yeah, so he just needs white chalk. So obviously that's something we can make happen. And then he also needs the candles. Now we'll just take the candles from the other one. I think, uh, you know what? Oh, we'll just go ahead and break that in a second. Do I break that or do I like, okay. <laughs> All right, now I've got this. Just you wait, just you wait. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just make everything else. Why not? Why not? Uh, boom, 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 boom. Cool. So you'll go there. You're awesome. Great job. We obviously need another sacrificial bowl, which means we need more of this, which means we need more of that. <sighs> Can't catch a break, can you? Boom, boom. And our inventory is just full of like stuff that it shouldn't be full. <laughs> All right. Um, it's not stone, it's andesite. Listen, guys, guys, I know. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's a loss. Listen, it's a long episode. <laughs> um, andesite, two stacks. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Boom, boom. Cool. So, <laughs> uh, let's clear that. What do we need? We need at least four, then five for the golden one in the middle. Okay. So, as I was showing you guys, <laughs> what we go ahead and do is we grab all of the stuff we need, as in the raw gold, the raw iron, the raw silver, and the raw copper, as well as the book. We place all of these in their little sacrificial balls. We place the um, Book of Binding in the middle and it's now starting the summon. So slowly but surely, it will eat the blocks around it. Now, as you can see, it's not the fastest thing in the world. I think you can time it and bottle it. So we're just gonna go ahead and attempt that. There we go. And as you can see, it's just gonna eat them up. Um, and I think it's gonna summon a guy for us. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, I guess this is him. This is our ore crusher. Um, so then what did we want him for? I think it was endstone, right? Endstone. So if I go ahead and give you one of these. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Can I open you up? I can. Cool. Best of luck. Yep, you can hold all of those. And so when he's done, he should just drop me the stuff. Um, so yeah, cool. All right, 
Let's get back to the chalk then. We're almost. We're almost <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna finish it this episode. We, we may as well. Um, so I also need obsidian dust. We'll go ahead and order that. And then we just need crushed end stones. Guys, it's pretty slow, but these upgraded versions are pretty cool. So boom, impure purple chalk. Awesome. And so then this, I believe, goes here, 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 and here. Okay. Now we can start the ritual. So it is this ritual here. We are going to need to order some soul sand. Hopefully that makes it through. We will also need a silver ingot. Uh, we do have some silver, occultism silver even. Some rare, rare occultism silver. Boom, chuck that in there. That should hopefully give us silver. Awesome. Uh, we only need one. Um, and what else do we need? So copper, diamond, um, gold, and then obviously four soul sand. So let's see if we can pull that around. So copper ingots. Um, let's also just clear our inventory ever so slightly. Um, we obviously need a diamond and a gold and then just soul sand. Make sure it's the right stuff. Yeah, the problem is your soul sand is done. <laughs> There's no problem. Everything's fine. <laughs> All right, cool. So copper, silver. God, it's silver, by the way, not iron. That's, I, I always mess that up uh, in the previous packs. Um, soul sand, and voila. Uh, I'm binding the soul gem. Cool. So what we can do now is also time in a bottle this one, and the episode will be done. Or I could uh, snap up a quick thumbnail. That could work as well. Boom, boom, boom. We'll do 32 times this, this time. There he goes, and voila. Empty soul gem. So, we now have um, another part of this dragon soul. If we go ahead and look at the dragon soul. Here it is. Um, we have the the egg, the focus of summoning, dragon scale, the inactive dragon egg. Um, we do have the soul gem. Don't know why he's not happy about that, but, that, but we do have it. Oh, piglet heart block. We'll have to start that up pretty soon. Gaia Spirit, we should be able to get done. Um, and then I think we'll do the Twilight Forest rather than Blue Skies. We did Blue Skies uh, quite a bit in the last pack, I think. I think Twilight Forest will just be easier. Even though no, 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 neither of them are kind of easy, to be honest. They're both quite annoying. But yeah, we'll see. Either way, I'm pretty happy. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Thank you, of course, to our donators and our channel members. Thank you to our Tier 3 channel members. Melizzi, Andre... Final Phoenix 13 um, and friends. I I'll look it up. I'm, I'm loading up the browser at the moment to double check the names. Um, one of them might be Melissa's alt, but I think there was two extra people. So we'll, we'll make sure that we are doing what we're meant to, I guess. <laughs> Give me a second. Bear with me. <laughs> oh, also, uh, it's quite late in the episode. I was meant to mention this earlier. Um, there will be some events taking place in the community in regards to um, a few things. One of which is there's going to be a build challenge. They're fun. We're going to start one of those back up again. Um, and then there's also going to be a challenge involving a different mod pack. Um, all that information will be in the Discord in the coming days. So stay tuned, I guess. Um, Mr. Brendan is the other tier three in question. Um, as well as Yulia. Welcome. Welcome, guys. I'm not, there's, th the fact that two people joined at the exact same day, pretty crazy. Um, but welcome, welcome guys. Hopefully everyone's having fun. Hopefully you're still enjoying the pack. Once again, the weather and just work and whatnot. There'll be some pretty busy days, but hopefully, I don't know. We'll get videos out whenever we can. Nice. I'm quite, yeah, I'm happy. We, we did some pretty good progress this episode. There might be some messy ones coming up, but um, we're chipping away at that star. Sweet. All right. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.